Um, welcome back to this uh, this tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, um, I'm going to show you how to do the orange glowy effect coming from the fire, and also mention some other uh, lighting uh, tips as well. So, uh, first thing we should do is to get uh, to just hide your uh, your particle shapes. So just hide selection. So just click it and right click, hide selection. So let's start with um, going to uh, create lights. The third one over um, in standard. So make sure it's not photometric. And create a omni light. So just click it and place it somewhere. Now, as you can see, it's all dark at the moment. That's because we're using because if you've um, made the opacity like that, it will look like this. So uh, you can either go into by clicking the realistic or shaded or whatever it says beside the this bit, which should be underneath this this drop down box. Or um, you can either go to shaded, which will get rid of all the lights. Go into realistic. You can go down. Uh, you go down to lighting and shadows and make it illuminate with default lights. So you get shadows still, but they're they're being emitted from your uh, from your perspective. So, but you know, if I go around it, <coughs> so um, it's up to you. For now, you may want to go back to using it in the dark in a minute. So just position it. In the middle, as much as you can. Press T to go for the top view if you want. Try and get it center as much as possible. Or because I believe we put it in the middle, you just change the positions to zero, and you'll get it in the middle. You can hold down Alt and mouse wheel to go around it. And just 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 move it up to about the middle of it. Now that we've done that, if we were to quickly render it, you'll notice that before we had the Omni light, it automatically lit the entire scene up with no shadows or any sort of lighting, it was just completely lit. By adding a, sh by adding a light, we've now, it, it doesn't all light the entire thing up, so as you can see, because it's in the middle, everything else is dark outside it, but we'll get to that later. So, um, start with, you're going to want to go into the modifier panel and go down to intensity and color achievement and, cho and choose out some sort of orange color if you want. And the best the best way to see it really is to is to go into lighting shadows and illuminate with scene lights. And as you can see get this greenish glow. Or orange glow. Yes, just tweak that. If 2012, believe 2011, 2013 definitely allow you to show shadows and 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 the lighting. I'm not 100% sure. 2010, I believe it does. So as you can see, it, it constantly emits around it. So, which can be all right, but you may want to limit the effect, which you probably will, because might be too big. So in the intensity slash color slash attunement you got far att attenuation. So just uh tick the show box and this this sphere around the omni line that if we would and uh, also slash uh um, tick the use button. So as you can see the light is now only emitted inside that sphere. So you can tweak those so that you get a nice amount of of glow from it which is alright. You may want to increase the intensity if you might want you might not want to, it's, it's up to you it's, as you see it's got a nice glow to it the next thing you're probably going to want to do is 
is um make sure that it doesn't affect the uh the fire objects so what you're going to want to do is you may also want to do is uh just get all these so just hold down CTO and click all the all the fire it's you may want to group them together because that that just saves time so af after you've got all them selected just go to group just at the top and group them and just call it anything you want I'm going to call fire and now they're they're one. They still they're still animated. And if you wanted to go back into the into the into the group, <clears throat> you don't have to ungroup it necessarily. You can just uh, with it selected, just click open, and now you can just select them as normal. And with one of them selected, you can you can close it again to so the proper group. Now now we've done that. Uh, reselect your Omni light and under general parameters under exclude so click it and probably gonna want an ex you're gonna probably want to exclude the fire and if we were to render that now it's completely ignored which may not necessarily be what you wanted but if you Later on, I'll mention how Skylight will work, where it will light the entire scene, no matter um, what. But in case you don't want to put in a skylight, um, you can go back into your fire material, in your material editor, and there's self-illumination. So if we were to put this to 100%, then go into and render it, you'll notice it automatically lights itself, which is good. So... Also, if if you've got those lines at the top, um, I've made a a video that I'll leave in this description as well, and it's in the other description, in the other video, on how to fix that really quickly. So if you have any problems with that, just just check the description. I'll probably put an annotation as well. So yeah, you can do that if you want. I'm gonna put mine back to zero because I'm gonna use the scarlet. So yeah, after you've done that, you can. Now the viewport won't show exactly what it looks like because uh, it does it completely ignores what you've excluded in it, so that so that's kind of annoying. Now I believe you could put shadows on it now. Let's let's actually test that. I haven't tested this before. So if I was to put a box here and move back to the Omni light and turned shadows on. Yeah. Ignore the other lines. That's because you got the particle flow. If you if you want to disclude that as well, go into exclude and add the PF source. Uh, don't know why there's two, but yeah, just add those, and you should be able to only have that. So yeah, you can have shadows do that. Now, of course, doing that with shadows in the viewport it screws it up. So I'm just going to turn that off for now because the viewport doesn't have the exclude so it's still being affected by the fire objects even though we've told it not to so to do that just go in general parameters uh, tick on shadows and if you're using default renderer it's going to be using ray traced shadows if you're using v-ray you're going to be using v-ray shadows not 100% sure about mental ray I think you still use ray traced shadows but not 100% sure so yeah, so now we'll do the dimming effect, which is pretty much just animating the the um, multiplier. So it's up to you when you make it go from f mine's three to zero and all that. So it's up to you. So I'm I'm gonna go for every ten frames. You can change this anytime you want. So um, pretty much just click on auto key, and on the tenth frame, go to your multiplier and change that to zero or whatever it is. So now it should, from zero to ten, dim to zero to to, to yes yeah, to zero on the tenth frame. 
that's that's good but now we want that to go back up to to that so just at the 20th frame just change it back to free and now that works now to make that repeat you just need to go into the graph editors curve editor and with the omni light selected uh, right at the bottom it should be object omni light click the little X beside it and it normally automatically goes to the to the one that's animated already which is this one so you should have like a curve here so just select all three of the little dots and then go to controller which should be at the top side modes um, in the track view or curve it um, and go to out of range types which should be near the bottom beside properties just click that and then you can change it from one of these. Just just experiment. I believe most of them work. I think. But yeah, just um, just do that. Now automatically continue to loop the dimming constantly, so you don't have to animate it again. I also believe if you change these to. Yeah. So if you were to change the three keyframes at the beginning of your of the Omni um, you know, uh it will change the uh, the dimming. So you can you can experiment with that. See that that might be too fast. It might be too slow. It all depends what you want it to be. I could quickly change this to forty. Should slowly dim. So yeah, you could you could do that. So now that we've got that, so now that's that's pretty much how you dim the light for the, in the animation. So yeah. Um, so now we'll go on to the onto skylights. So if you wanted to light an entire scene and you don't want to use an omni light because omni lights don't work very well. Um, I will actually I will turn off this light now I'll, I'll make an example I was to create an omni light right now brought up and then rendered it you can see that because the light is all being directed on one side the uh, the other side is being unlit which can be annoying so you know a lot of people might want to keep creating loads of omni lights but that can be annoying so what you can do is in in the lights in create lights standard it should be skylight and you could just plop one of those down and it will light the entire scene and by default cast shadows are off and for unknown reasons casting shadows with with default renderer takes it 10 to about 100 times longer than it would normally render so if i was to render this now with that being, uh, yeah, you can see now if I was to render this, it now renders them with light. So you can you can mix these up by adding in a a uh, omni light with shadows to uh, help define the object. So now you can tell a bit better. So you got the it's still all lit up without without you can you can change the the color and the, the light and the multiplier of the light and that's pretty much it for this tutorial um so yeah also using the exclude um, option if you were going to make a, a torch and you're going to put it inside a put it inside a torch you know you may notice that if you did that it would it wouldn't light very well um, so you could you can always exclude the box or the torch whenever you get it and it should emit 
No. Well, that would normally not work. You'd normally blocked out by that. Don't know why it didn't for that time. Could be just theory, but yeah. If you if you put if you put normally light inside inside a torch, or you could always put it on top of it. But if you wanted to put it inside for some reason, and it it wasn't emitting any shadows or or light, then just um, just exclude the uh, exclude the uh, torch that's inside, and it all it should work. So I believe that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, should be it for the fire tutorial. Now to dim them. So yeah, don't know what my next tutorial will be. It might be to uh, to model some of the mobs, the cows, and all that. So um, we'll see. So I uh, hope this tutorial helps. Uh, Thank you for watching, and uh, don't forget to use the skylights because they're they're, just, they're awesome. They're better than using army lights sometimes because sometimes it's a real pain to light an entire scene. This will light the entire scene no matter where it is. I wouldn't use cast shadows. They don't not not with render. If you got free ray, use use yeah. They, they, that renders really quick with it, but with a uh, with dome free ray. But anyway. Um, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, like it. If you hated the video, dislike it. If you got a question or need help, uh, leave leave it in the comments, and I'll try and help you. <laughs> if I got time. So, um, thank you for watching. And goodbye.